we are going to get the real writers back on the job soon, right? Right? I'm Chris Wolby, the wrestling blogger who always tells it like it is. Yeah, November has not been the best of months for the WWE. You wouldn't notice it from the stock prices for sure, but you can tell from the quality of the shows and the pay-per-views outside of Survivor Series. Thumbs down votes almost unanimously for Raw and mixed reviews for SmackDown. Evolution wasn't all that spectacular for the first ever all-female pay-per-view, and I don't even have to explain Crown Jewel, do I? The only saving graces for the WWE was the Survivor Series weekend, including NXT Turnover, War Games. And as I said before, the series was changed and changed and changed up to the minute it, the cameras rolled, and it still was pretty good. So, what the heck happened this month? Did the writers go on vacation? Did the flu drain their creative juices? Did they just decide to phone it in? Well, I honestly think this mostly had to do with the backlash over Crown Jewel. When that journalist was assassinated and the Saudi royal family were implicated, the WWE Universe went nuts when the pay-per-view still went on in the country, not understanding that, as I said several times before, the McMahons got paid a king's ransom for the opportunity, and damn it, they were not going to give that dough up. So all the hashtag cancel WWE Network tags that were spread online, and I wouldn't be surprised if some did cancel it in protest. Add that the fact that John Cena and Daniel Bryan, two people who were more than happy to perform for the Saudis in the great, Greatest Royal Rumble, decided eh, they didn't want to go this time. Another problem was that their so-called most polarizing superstar, Roman Reigns, Gave up the Universal title and shocked us all, telling us he had leukemia. I don't care how strong of will you may be at the company. When your biggest draw says he has to fight a potentially deadly illness again, you find it quite hard to function afterwards. Not to mention that they gave the ti uh, that that title was given back to Brock Lesnar because for some inexplicable reason... They thought Braun Strowman wasn't ready. And then they put Strowman on the shelf after the series. You know, that's just raw, folks. The heel turn of Daniel Bryan was a bit sudden in execution for my taste. Like going from yes Mania to a vegan codger was a bit jarring. Uh, that being said, I did say in a previous column that we didn't need underdogs as champs these days, so... Uh, can't say the change of attitude was unexpected, just a little much is all. And with Shinsuke Nakamura not making Nakamurica all that good again, and the tag ranks still stagnant, there's not much to recommend for SmackDown lately. Hopefully the thought of losing their Christmas bonus will get these writers back to work and making riveting stories. Riveting though plausible, I should say. I'm expecting at least some excitement coming out of TLC, and not just the first woman's TLC match. I'm expecting a lead-up to the Royal Rumble that will blow us all away. I'm expecting someone to do something to make up for the lackluster November. Then again, I'm also expecting to get double-digit viewership for this column, so take it as you will. Vacay's over, writers. Back to work. I'm Chris Wall with the wrestling blog who always tells it like it is. See ya.